Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well. And today we're going to be talking about one of my all time favorite phones right here in front of us today. This is my iPhone 13. And I just wanted to make this video to kind of talk about how this phone is holding up in 2024. You know, uh, the newest iPhone's out right now. I guess, well, you know, they came out back in October of 2023. So it's it's been a little bit. But the newest iPhones out right now are the iPhone 15. Man, that's hard to believe. We're on the 15th iPhone. But this, I've had this iPhone 13 since about, I think, April of 2022. So not exactly when it released, but when I bought this, it was still the, the newest iPhone out. And at the time, I had a Pixel 6. And I was just like, you know what? I have never used an iPhone as my daily phone ever. I think the longest I had ever, I guess, technically daily an iPhone was maybe a few months, three, four, five, six months, something like that. And I said, you know what? I just want to full on switch to an iPhone and take the plunge and just kind of see how it goes because the last time I had really used an iPhone before I purchased my 13, I think might have been like an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus. I mean, just a long time ago. And at the time, I had a Pixel 6, and it was just, it had some teething issues. You know, the Pixel 6 was kind of the first all Google phone that they had done, and it just seemed like battery life was atrocious on that phone. I liked it overall. It had good build quality and everything and, and good cameras and I liked the look of it. But it just seemed like I was always plugging that phone into a charger. So uh, here we go. Let's see if I can get a good look at that. The the product red, man, I really love that. I wish I had another iPhone to compare this product red to. I know it, it may look a little light on camera, but I promise you guys, this is a, a pretty dark red compared to some of the older product red iPhones that Apple has done, like the iPhone 11. But man, I really like this. This case I'm using here, oh man, can I remember this off the top of my head? This is, some, I think it's a Spigen um, Ultra Hybrid Mag. I think that's what they call it because it has the, uh, the MagSafe ring on the back. And uh, man, so how is this phone handling in 2024? And I have to say, perfectly fine. You know, no issues. It it performs very well, and it, it's it's no longer my daily phone. I still have a SIM card in this. I still have my primary phone number on this phone, but it it's not primarily in my pocket anymore. It's it's my Z Flip. Uh, which is what I'm recording this video with. Let me know what you guys think. What's really cool about the Z Flip, I know I get off track every time I do these videos, but I just get really excited about phones. On the Z Flip, as I'm recording with the, uh, the rear camera, you can use the cover screen as also like a viewfinder so I can see, I can better see, I can just glance over at my cover screen and you know, make sure what I'm showing you guys is in frame. It's just really, really cool. Um, but anyway, so the Flip 5 has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. I still have my Pixel. If you guys haven't seen my um, me saying my farewell to my Pixel 7, go watch that video. It's done really well. I appreciate everyone who has clicked on that video and watched it and left a comment. It done. It has performed way better than I thought. It, it's it has way more views than I ever could have expected, you know, coming from a small channel like myself. Um, every view helps. But anyway, uh, the Flip 5 has the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. The Pixel 7 has the Tensor G2. And although this chipset in the iPhone 13, the A15, is, you know, what, a few years old at this point? Two, a little more than two years old? Man, it is still quite a powerhouse. I... When I do use this, I don't I don't feel like, you know, it's it's slow or anything like that. Battery life is still this is this this has better way better battery life out of all of my devices that I still have. You know, I still have the Pixel 7, the Flip 5. This has the best battery life and I just I love it. But 
why hasn't this been in my pocket, okay? Why why isn't this my primary, the phone that spends the most time in my pocket? And that's just mainly because how do I, I'm, I'm just a little bored of it, you know what I mean? Um, iOS is a great operating system. I love it. I love the familiarity, the uh, the the kind of just nostalgia that is the iPhone because it has remained mostly the same for many many years. You know, with iterative updates from Apple. But I'm just a little bored of it. Not that it's a bad device. Not that it it can't do everything I need it to do. But when when I got my Flip 5, oh man, it was just game over, you know. Aside from the battery life on it, the Flip 5 is just a phenomenal phone, has all sorts of features, and um, there's just more things on the Galaxy that make sense to me. But anyway, uh, Product Red, this still has that square body, the flat sides, man, I just love it. It, it has a good feel in the hand, I, I just love it. It's it's my smallest device, but that's also why I love it. You know, it's so pocketable, and the fact that it has, out of my devices, the best battery life is just, it's just killer, man. You know, I can charge this up, and if I'm going out for a long day, I know that even with my usage, I'm going to make it through a full day with this puppy right here, and that's just, that's just awesome. Um... So let let me uh, so, so, see. It's been a while since I've since I've been in this. I gotta put in the passcode here. Let me clear my notifications and exit out some of my apps here. Um, there was a bug. Let me know if you guys have had this bug. But anyway, the Discord app. Normally, when I um, when I'm kind of roaming around the house. You know, and I'm not really at my desk on my PC. Okay, got all my notifications. Okay, clear off. There we go. Okay. Um, make sure. Okay, yeah, we're good to go. I I use my iPhone to uh, to be on Discord. Let's see how that looks. I don't want it to be, like, completely blown out of proportion. It looks like I can maybe turn the brightness down just a hair so it looks, it looks better. But, man, this phone has good brightness you know it's it's not uh super super bright but it's it's far from being dim by any stretch i'm not sure if it's as bright as my flip five but this is definitely to my eyes way brighter than my pixel 7 and man you know just when i unlock this phone i'm just like wow i you know i know where everything is and it's just nice that on ios i can pick up another iPhone and I mean any iPhone from the last little while I mean last five years easily and just know kind of where everything is and if I don't know where one of their icons is I can just pull down and search it you know that that's been a, the spotlight search I think it's called has been around on the iPhones for a long time so it's just that familiar operating system you know um the speakers, I think out of all my devices, this has my favorite speakers. The Samsung is, is a close second, but I would have to go back and kind of compare them side by side again. But this does have really good speakers. Still has the, uh, the lightning port before Apple. Is it this year on the iPhone 15s they went to the USB-C? I think so. Yeah. So still got the classic lightning port but one thing that is kind of a, a perk of the iPhone 13 over the 14 or 15 is it still has a SIM tray I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see this but because of my case it still has a SIM tray and it also supports eSIM you know but um, still has the SIM tray four gigabytes of RAM I know that's not as much as the newer ones you know, the 14 has 6 gigabytes of RAM, and I think the 15 does too. But, you know, that's not really, I guess, a big deal to me. Because 4 gigabytes of RAM on an iPhone is still, you know, still viable. So, um, but Apple still sells this brand new right now. I'm, I think for 
five ninety nine. I want to say yes, I believe so. Five ninety nine. So you can still buy this brand new from Apple, and um, honestly, unless you need the extra RAM on the fourteen or fifteen, you can save quite a bit of money and still have really good performance on the iPhone thirteen. So um, it still has pretty good cameras, but the cameras on the 14 and 15 are a little bit better if you're a big picture taker, which I'm not really. I mean, you know, I've been making these YouTube videos, but um, I'm not a big, big picture taker. So um, I'm going to lay this right here for a second. Um, I have something we can talk about. But if we go into settings and... Da -da 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 -da, just bear with me a minute. Okay, right here, battery. If we go to battery and then we go to battery health, I'm at 94%. That, that's weird. I, that's that's a little bit of a topic of its own. I think maybe a few months ago, I was at like 98%. And I'm not sure what's going on. May I don't know if I've really changed my charging habits. I mean, I haven't charged this phone a whole lot. You know, it, it spends just a lot of time um, kind of just laying around honestly you know I make sure my apps stay up to date and my iOS is up to date but it seems like after I hit about 98% on the maximum capacity it seems like it's just kind of rapidly dropped from there that that is pretty weird I, I don't know if I don't feel like my charging habits have changed but man like I said once I hit 98% it just seemed like that other 4% down to 94 has just... I've dropped like 4% battery health in like two or three months. You know, and that just kind of blows my mind because... Um, I just feel like that's a little bit much. Anyway, especially because the charger I, I use... Now, some of you might think, you know, get with the times. Apple has better chargers than that, but... Um, the Apple, the official Apple 5 watt charger and I have a 6 foot anchor cable, lightning cable so mm, I would say 8 times out of 10 so 80% of the time I would charge up my phone with the 5 watt charger so it just really blows my mind that in the past few months I've dropped more on my battery capacity than I, than I did in like my first year, year and a half of having this phone. I'm not sure what to make of that, but it just kind of seems like a bit much. But yeah, um, I think the latest iOS version is 17.3.1. Let's, let's go in here and see. Uh, da, 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 da. General, about, no. Gotta click, yeah, okay, so iPhone 13, um, I think it's near the top, isn't it? Yeah, iOS 17.3. So I, I'm not on the latest, latest, but, you know, close enough. Uh, this has a 60 hertz panel, which even in, when did this come out? 2021, because I got it in kind of like April or May of 22. So yeah, so, so 2021 is when this came out. Even in 2021, it was a bit of a bummer that um, it had a 60 hertz panel. And I know there's a lot of reviewers who are like, man, that's lame. Even the newer ones, the 14 and the 15, have a 60 hertz panel. And everyone's like, man, that's lame. And, you know, I'm just kind of in the middle on that. You know, I know there's phones that are cheaper or just as much as the latest base model iPhone that have 90 hertz or even 120 hertz panels like I mean the Pixel 8 right and even the the S24 the base model have I think 120 hertz panels so um, but also at the same time I think Apple knows that people don't really care I personally will not be surprised if the iPhone 16 still has a 60 hertz panel because think about it you know, if Apple were to put a 90 hertz panel on the base iPhone as well as 
the plus model, you know, now they're back doing the pluses since the 14, you know, there's a 14 plus, the 15 plus. If they were to put a 90 hertz panel on those phones, I just feel like Apple thinks, well, that's going to, um, that's going to clash a little bit too much with our pro iPhones. You know what I mean? Because those have 120 hertz and honestly, um, 90 to 120 is not a big difference in the feel. So I think I think that's kind of Apple's mindset. I mean, I could be wrong. Let, let me know what you guys think. But that's my, my speculation why they won't put 90 hertz panels on the, uh, the base and the plus model iPhone. But yeah, um, iPhone 13 in 2024, I think, honestly, it's still worth buying. You know, if you if you don't really care that it has a 60 hertz panel, still has solid battery life, and um, this is my favorite phone to take phone calls on. And I know this may seem a little silly, but on Android, when you're in a phone call and you hit the hang up button, right, it just doesn't hang up immediately. There's like a one, two, three second delay. You know, like on my flip, I hit end and it's like. And then my call stays on my screen for one or two seconds after it says call ended. And then it takes me back to my phone app, you know, where it says like keypad, recents, you know, favorites. But on, me, on, on the iPhone, man, when you hit hang up, that puppy is like, it hangs up the call immediately. And I know that seems kind of silly, but man, sometimes when I'm done with my phone call, I just want it to be to be gone, you know. Uh, so that's one kind of, I guess, minor reason why I still hold on to this iPhone. And the speakerphone on this is just phenomenal. It gets it gets very loud. And for someone like me who is severely visually impaired, when I'm in a phone call and I hit mute on my iPhone, it has an audio feedback. So Apple, please, please, please never remove that. I, I don't know why they would, but Apple, I just love that feature. When I hit mute, it's like, doodling, right, I think. And then when I when I unmute, it's like, doodling, doodling, doodling. and I just love that, that feedback. And I also love that the controls, when I'm inside a phone call, are very, they're very contrasty. They're like black and white. So like, if I'm on speaker, the speaker icon is like colored in with white. And then if I mute, it does that. So the controls are just really easy for me to see. And, um, you know, it has crossed my mind a few times about selling this phone, but then I always say, you know, no, it, it's really nice. I like it. There are lots of little odds and ends on iPhone that do just make more sense to me, and it's that familiarity. Um, and so I think, at least for me, I'll always have some sort of iPhone. You know, it might not always be the latest, but... I'm always going to have some sort of iPhone at my disposal because there's just things on it that I really enjoy. Um, and rumor has it that iOS 18 is going to be a very big update. I don't, I don't know if that's going to be true or not, but apparently it's going to be one of the biggest iOS updates in <coughs> Apple history. So... Yeah, I mean, I think that's all I can say. I don't really, you know, with my eyesight, I don't think there's really any scratches on on my display, which, you know, I I've always had a case on it. I think I think when I initially got it, I I didn't have a case for maybe about a month until I got. It wasn't this when I had it first. It was a a spec case, and I wish I brought my little Spigen. Um, portable like MagSafe charger to show you guys but I left that in the house um, but man this is just a really good iPhone I don't think it's really worth me like getting a, a 14 or a 15 I think you know I, I don't really need the extra RAM I know the uh, the 15 is quite a bit brighter on the display but it's still a 60 hertz panel so it's and I believe it's still the A16, which isn't a great, it isn't It isn't much of a step up to an A16 from an A15. So, um, 
yeah, there you go. I really enjoyed this phone. I wanted to make this video to let you guys know um, my thoughts on it. And, you know, I've had it for nearly two years. And um, let me know if you guys have one, how it's been serving you. Also, let me know what your maximum battery health is. I know everyone's is a little bit different. Um, and let me know if you have the newer iPhones, like the 14 or the 15, and how that's been serving you guys. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up. I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you in the next video.